Welcome to Reading the Word with Luther for September 6th. I'm going to be reading to you today from the Holy Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 7, verse 21, in the Revised Standard Version of the Holy Bible. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father, who is in heaven. This is the Word of God. Luther wrote, If we are to do God's will, we must first know for a certainty what it is and how to do it. This our own wisdom and thoughts do not teach, or all men, heathen and Turks, could do it as well, and every fanatic would come and pretend that whatever pleases him was God's will. Therefore we must hear God's word alone, which reveals plainly unto us what the will of God the Father is. First, that he has sent his only begotten Son into the world to reconcile us sinners unto God by his death, to purify and sanctify us through his blood without our merits. This he has proclaimed to everyone by the gospel and requires you to believe and accept it. Then when we have received such grace and salvation, have been baptized into Christ and believe, his will is that we should afterwards live accordingly, obey God and do what is commanded in the Ten Commandments. Every one in his calling, confess God's word, honor and support it, avoid and flee from sin, be good, patient, chaste, modest, kind, faithful and true. This God will have preached not only with the mouth, but in the heart and in the deed. Whoever neglect this, or teaches, believes, and acts contrary, should know that he has not done God's will, and is already judged, that he does not belong to the kingdom of heaven, because he is without faith and love. It will do him no good to boast of Christ as though he were serving him faithfully, preached much and did great wonders. On the other hand, if you earnestly do this will of God, cheerfully hear and believe God's word, honor him, and do good to your neighbor, you can bravely and joyfully say before God, Lord, Lord, and comfort yourself with the kingdom of heaven, which God has given you. Whether on this account the world reviles and condemns you need not trouble you, for now you hear that God does not wish you to seek praise and honor when you say, Lord, Lord. But you are to do the deed and bear fruit of him who does the will of God. Then measure all doctrine and life with this rule to the praise of God, and you will not be deceived. So some people will tell you that you have to have good works to be saved. Some people will tell you that you are saved through just, just faith. Just, just have faith. But Luther is teaching us here the very thing that James is saying, that faith without works is dead. It's not faith at all. That real faith is evidenced by its works. The will of God is that we believe, that we have faith in Christ alone for our salvation, that we do not trust in our own works, but that works will surely follow true faith. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, Help us to believe, and out of that belief, do good works through us, Lord, by the power of your Spirit. In Christ's name we ask it, and for his glory. Amen. Thanks for joining me for Reading the Word with Luther today. I hope you'll be back with me again tomorrow.